Amen. We have already received much. And it's wonderful for me to be here again. For you that don't know me, my name is Mats Holmgren. And I am a pastor in a Swedish church in the northern part of Sweden. And we have been connected with this church for many years now. Actually, since the middle of the 90s. And it has been a pleasure to see what God has been doing through you. What's happening now? now? It's good. All right. <laughs> So uh, I have been coming here, I don't know actually now, maybe 12 or 13 times or something. And I have uh, greetings from my church. And especially from the leaders from my church. They are, they, are greet, they are greeting you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are so proud to be a part of what you are doing here. But I would also say that you are a part of what is happening in our church. Because every time when I come from here, I am very revived. It is the beauty of it is that when you are giving out of yourself, you also receive so much. So it is wonderful to have this opportunity to come here and to give uh, for a week. In the, church, in the church here and in the Bible school. And also into the El Shaddai children's home. Uh, the, these children are in our hearts. So we are giving to this work every month. And we are so glad that we can be of help. Amen. Amen. So it is Christmas. Christmas is here. Amen. And, uh, uh, but I, as a Swede, do not feel like it is Christmas when I'm here. Because, because uh, in Sweden it is cold in Christmas. And we, have, and we have snow. Amen. <laughs> there, are, there are snow on the Christmas tree. No, Christmas the bini bama snow ni 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 chara bia na ni ni chara bia tu yade. So when I come here, it's always summer. Di mana Christmas ubi lade kama jono ru yen nuya di ne dure de purong we. Belu ma kanza saun ni pu pu isu ubi lo cuy de piani da miole. But I'm not used. I'm not used to summer in Christmas. Jono ru nui nuya di mami Christmas lo jada la lo di ya yade kama kanza wade. Amen. Amen. Okay. Today I am going to give you a, 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 a sermon that is maybe a little bit uh, different than usually. I will speak about when... And, and the, the, the name of my sermon is When God Seems to Be Absent. Now, 
When God seems to be absent, because sometimes in life, God can seem to be absent. God can seem to be far away. And we can uh, very easily feel that we are alone with our own problems, with our own uh, thoughts. With our own thoughts. But it is very important uh, before we go into this that uh, uh, to, to read him from 1 uh, uh, Thessalonians 5.18 it says like this give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you Amen this is so important, you know. That we understand that God is not only with us when it feels good. He is not only with us when uh, we are coming together praising God. But he is with us in all circumstances. He is with us in the dark valley. He is with us when we are feeling grief, when we have sadness in our life. Maybe when we meet sickness or problems. God is with us all the time. Christian faith is more than anything else a relationship with God the Father. A, a love relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And God created man to live in in a community in relationship with with us. When God created man, he created man to live in harmony, in joy and in peace with him. And that should be the fact for us all the time, actually. But we, we need to, to see on the relationship in the right way. Because it's not a relationship only when you feel victory and everything is good. But it is a relationship for all your life. Both in the high days when everything is good, but also when it's bad and it's problems and it's challenges. And we can speak about joy or harmony feelings that comes when life is wonderful. But I would say that there is Two different kinds of joys. It, it is one perspective of joy that is on the surface. 
in our life. And it is another type of joy that is in the in in the ground in the ground thoughts of your life. Now, what me want to change the kuga? Just now, you buy a check on. Now, oh me, machine it. What me want to change the kuga? Now the kuga a boy. And the surface joy. It is a joy that we all can feel when everything is good. And uh, your, you know, your soul is with you when when everything is good. And you meet things in your life that is positive, things that are good for you, and you you feel happy, you know. But Christian faith is not only surface joy. It is a joy that goes in and through your heart. A joy that comes from the depth of your being. And that is not dependent of things that is happening around you. But it is based on what Jesus has done for you and me on the cross. So we need to need to learn to, to live in that ground level joy, the heart joy. But even if it is like that, and even if we, even if we know this, there will always there will come days in your life when when you are not feeling good and and you see it seems like god is far away and when god feels absent it can depend it, it can be because of different things it can come into your life uh, by different matters. No, you know that I'm a player. Can we look at that? A chain of yoga. A chain of yoga. A chain of yoga. And uh, not always it is bad, you know. Any look at that? Come on. A chain of yoga. So that I'm a hobo. But sometimes it can also be good. The other any look at that? Gale. Go on. A job. You know. Go on. A chain of yoga. We will go to to Psalms ten. Salam. And we can see that there were many people uh, in the Bible that, that had tough days. And even David that had such a relationship with God, he had days when he felt that God was far away from him. No, Dawi Kuranga, Dawi Minji Kuranga, Payane to Wigwade, Lokanzaya, the Chemias, or to Buama. David, he that were the, the great worshipper. No, the Gago, whoop you go ready to Pieta, Chimazo, and Payago Chimo, and all these songs in the Psalms. This Alan Tiant who loaned the Chinrigo, Yisa Kate, who was a man of, uh, 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 of, of God said that he was a man of his own heart. No, Piatti can say, Don't do it or do it, or Piago and Tamachin Kayare, do thou ma. But sometimes he felt like God was far away. The Katayan to Lekanzari. And we can read in Psalms 10 and verse 1. Piatti can wait a little Kanzari. Salan to say, Pang it. Why, O Lord, do you stand far away? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Oh, Tara Paya, Kuro di Abejang. We we are you in need of Mudani, Be and the Yaudi Kala, Abejang, Pongue, you in need of Mudani, Salan, number to say. We can also go to Psalms 22. Salan, Nasene, and verse 2. Apaying in Nema. Oh, my God, I cry by day. 
but you do not answer. And by night, but I find no rest. David came to a place where he didn't see God. He didn't feel his presence. He didn't feel that God was with him. He, he, he cried out, where are you God? And I can say that I, I will speak about three different uh, uh, three different things why God can feel absent. No, and the first one is that he sometimes God wants to test our faith. But my check up. Payada King, Mashibulo Kanzaya Chinima, number day. Payada King go to get young Jidala, Santa Dapete. Test us if we trust him. General Payada King go to get Goza the last Urago, Santa Champete. And he can lead us out into the desert. Not to Kadiama Teg and Ara, you go pay our cost on Dota Day. And test us. Pietro Santa day. That if we don't feel his presence. If we come into bad circumstances. Then what happens to us? We fall into a rejection. No? And we start to be angry at God. No? We start to doubt him. God wants to test you. So sometimes, even Jesus was sent into, out into the desert. And he was tested. So when this happened, I will say, I, I won't say if this happened, but I will say, when it happens, because I think it happens to everyone, you will come there someday. And this is a promise from God. Why? Because God wants to test you. He wants to test your faith and your obedience to him. And that day maybe you won't feel like praising God. You won't feel like going to church. You won't feel like going to small group or cell group or what you have. You are in a testing time. That's why the Bible says that Elijah and So what do you need to do in the testing time? You need to focus on God. You need to focus on God. Understand that God wants to test you. And I say like in Thessalonians 5.18, in all circumstances, praise God. Amen. Amen. In all circumstances, worship Jesus. Come before him even if it doesn't even if you doesn't feel for it. Even if your feelings are far away. From wanting to praise Jesus. Just start to praise him anyhow. Maybe just start with a, a small voice. But also when you are there, give out your heart for him. 
Tell him exactly what you're feeling in your heart. Amen. Mm. Let your heart just come out. And not before your friends. And not before everyone. But before him. Amen. Amen. Don't spread these things around you. No, go, go, ye, kanza, che, lady, do, ka, lady, go, carry your struggle in your heart. Go, ye, no, 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 because you need to speak to God. You need to speak with Him about, about your struggles. About your difficulties. About your doubts. The second thing it can depend on why God seem, seem away from you can depend on that you don't have the right knowledge. The right knowledge. The right knowledge. You need to have the right knowledge. Mm. Because there are people how could it be so long? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the right knowledge. And it's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The right knowledge. More clear. Yeah. <laughs> More clear. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, what knowledge? No, I don't know. The knowledge, the knowledge of his unchangeable love. Oh. Yes. Yes. His love is enough for us. Because sometimes we feel that we are not enough for God, you know. Maybe that we are not holy enough. No, we think, we think that we fail God. And condemnation will come into our hearts. No, Condemnation wants to come and fill our hearts. No, Maybe you struggle with weakness in your life. Struggle with sin in your life. And you feel that God is far away from you. And that you are a very bad person. Because many Christians aren't set, aren't, are not as holy as they look like. Tell your neighbor, you're not as holy as you look like. Maybe you're church people always look holy, you know. No, the nice dressed. We put, we put on a nice smile. We act like everybody else. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. No, Hallelujah. Amen. I'm with the crowd here, you know. No, go But in the inside, you know that you're not enough. 
You know that you are not perfect, you know. You know that you have problems in your life. You know that you're struggling with sin sometimes. And sometimes the outer side and the inner side will become very far away from each other. No, a twin emaga, Piana de Gego, a Shapia Hane, a Tehaga, a wee pinita. And that creates frustration in life. And I jam mulo, no, a tame, a pima need a dina canzana in the goma, a tame at the mule pinilo, sigma, but we majab. Amen. Amen. That's why the Bible says that Jesus, he came with truth and grace. And I jam mulo, Janza Gabio, the King Yeshuga. Amen. Amen. He knows the truth about you. He knows that you look nice on the outside, but you are sometimes rotten on the inside. Amen. So just let down that nice outer side. And let humbleness come into your heart. Because when it comes to that point, when the inner side and the outer side is far away from each other, it is not, then it's not far away that we also become legalistic about others. Hello, Chene Mushi de Durega, the Chalu de Kamalebe, the Gego, no, Pinya Sansane Lurigo, Sompiace, Amieniba, Pianduana. You know what I'm speaking about? Hello, Pioni da Nale Badala, man. And that is not the atmosphere that we want to have in church. Huh? We don't want the atmosphere that this is the perfect crowd, you know. No, we want an atmosphere where sinners feel welcome. Amen. Amen. Sinners need to be feel, feeling welcome. Welcome in our presence. Welcome into our uh, congregation or to our fellowship. This is maybe this, the biggest challenge for the church. That we become so holy, you know, so the sinners don't feel that they can be around us. You know, I feel very bad concerning some parts of Christianity. Churches and pastors that are very much concerned about every sinner's and sin, sin that is going on in the world. Pointing finger at people and saying, oh, that is wrong, and that is wrong, and that is wrong. People know that things are wrong, you know. We don't, we don't even have to tell them. And as much as you and I know that things are wrong in our, in, on our inside sometimes. We don't need to remind the world that they are wrong because they know it. No, Amen. Amen. 
But we need to show the love of Jesus. You remember what who Jesus attracted. You know, we can say that Jesus attracted everybody actually. But actually, especially he attracted the prostitutes. He attracted the sinners. He attracted the, the, the tax collectors. This is the kind of people that Jesus attracted. And that is not why that is it's not because he wanted to be like them. No, oh, could dog go But because he was the, the truth and grace in the same time. Could do hot, the Madia, Lepide, Jesu, the Yale, the chain, the Matu, Tema, Pizon, the Jang. His love to people close to him. No, Mita, the Yajang, Luriga, to Tango, Chinka, Lajare. He radiated love. He no. radiated uh, acceptance. No, tu ni ne lekhane mita tiya yangji ko tu lo thara phe de ludai ko tu lekhane. And every kind of people wanted to come to him. Ludai, ludai, ludan za da inga tu si go lajen ne. Amen. Amen. And we need to be that kind of people. Da chao chao na ru hal e be ludai. Abhi shi de ludai, ludai chinka lo loere chinka jen ne. This is a challenge for me also. It is not easy, you know. I've been a, I've been a Christian for all my life. <laughs> I've been raised up as a, a, a Pentecostal Christian since I was a little kid. And I for no sure knows what is right and what is wrong. <laughs> and it's very easy to radiate that out of your life. But we need to radiate the love of Jesus. We, we shall not accept sin. No, it is not about that. But we want to receive sinners. And that's why we need to know that you know we are all sinners in some in some point. And that is why we need to take communion together. So that, we can receive, so that we can receive the forgiveness of sin. Through the blood through the bread. He cleanses us. So sometimes when God seems to be far away from us, it can be because we, f- we feel condemnation in our hearts. Salvation is not built on your ability to live right. But it's built on His love that changes us bit by bit, bit by bit. Romans 8 1 says that there are no condemnation for those who are in Christ. No, There are no condemnation. No, So we need to know. That we have been saved. Not because we are good enough. 
Despite of our sins, because of the blood of Jesus, we can live close to Him. And because of us drawing near to Jesus, He can change us. By bit, bit by bit. Not the bit the And as we grow old, uh, we pray to God that He has changed us more and more and more. So that, so that we will be ready to go to heaven and meet Him. Maybe we will never be perfect. But he has perfected us. Amen. Amen. But the third, third thing why God can seem away from our lives. It can depend on us having a lack of searching him in our life. Sometimes we need to sacrifice. We need to sacrifice from our lives and come before Him and give everything to Him again. No? Give all our heart to him again. Sometimes we don't feel like it. And maybe you say that, oh, I've searched, I've been searching God before. And it is hard. It is hard. I try. Okay, but maybe you need to sacrifice. The Bible is speaking about the sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of worship. We need to come before him in a new way. And I have been so touched by a story in Mark 14 that I want us to read. No, general Mark And it is and it is about one of these sinners that came to Jesus. Uh, it's Mark 14 and verse 3. And while he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he was reclining a table, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment, of pure nard, very costly. And she broke the flask and poured it uh, over his head, there were some who said to themselves indignantly, Why was the ointment wasted like that? Three. Three. For this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor, and they schooled her, uh, schooled her. But Jesus said, Leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? She, was, she has done a beautiful thing to me, for you always have the poor with you, and whenever you want, you can do good for them, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for burial, and truly I say to you, where, wherever the gospel is proclaimed 
in the whole world what she has done will be told in memory of her maku 啊，就都的多大些？是为，是的，譬如为，托西木一个白讲，就买松子的呢？对哪里？啊，别东呀，没看到，跑呢，养鱼。现在了，都都啊，白色呀，刚的乌苏鱼，托没买过，别等价，一
Whether you are in, in the, de- the desert, maybe God has led you out into the desert. Maybe you think that God has deserted you because you are a sinner. Or maybe you are just lazy. Don't want thing to really pay the price for Jesus. Whether you are in one of these categories. I would like you to just give your heart to Jesus this morning. We can all stand. ตัวเราเนี่ยปาสิดอกโกรยะตะโกเนาะเนี่ยลุ่มหยอกเชิงกองที่แจ้งตะหาดิกะเลปวยรอมิงลาสะบี้ปาวินตุ๊กส่องต
ตัวสมุทรปาเลยกูจะปาเลยนี่ตาวกูเอาไปเลยเนี่ยกูหนอชิมั่วชิเนี่ยจังหวะมันลงตาได้มาเยซูกูเอาไปเลยปาวินนี